Hi, this is Joe from Prep Agent. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to get your New York real estate license. So whether you're selling real estate in the greatest city in the world, New York City, or you're going all the way up to Buffalo, or by the Finger Lake region in Cayuga County, or Westchester, Rochester, wherever it may be, I'm going to help you get your real estate license to sell real estate in New York. So let's go over the process. As a reference point, I'm going to be using the website Aceable Agent. You could find their link in the show notes below. Aceable Agent does a great job of laying out seven steps, seven, seven steps to get your real estate license. So check that out. But for now, let's get started. Okay, the seven steps to getting your real estate license in New York. So first I'm going to list them and then I'm going to go over them in more detail. So one, check your eligibility. Two, complete the required pre-licensed real estate course. Number three, pass the education provider administered exam. Sign up for the state license exam. Pass the state license exam. Find a sponsor broker. Apply for a real estate license and pay the fee. So let's go through step one first. Check your eligibility. So you have to be 18 years old, a U.S. citizen, have a high school degree or a GED, and don't have a felony on your record. If you do have a felony, don't worry. You could possibly get a New York real estate license with a criminal record. You just have to take an additional step of a certificate of relief from disabilities or a certificate of good conduct. Step two, complete the required pre-licensing real estate course. So you got to complete the 75 hour salesperson qualifying education course. You could do this in a traditional classroom or you could do it online. If you'd like to do it online, go to the show notes below and click on the link for Aceable Agent. They'll have all the information you need to complete your pre-licensing required courses to get your New York real estate license. I recommend doing it online as most people are doing it that way. So give it a try. It's important to note that once you complete these courses, they're valid for eight years. This means that if you aren't ready to take the exam right away, or you aren't in the right stage of life or mindset or whatever it may be, I know how the day gets away from you. You have plenty of time to make it happen to obtain your real estate license, eight years. Now let's move on to step three, pass the education provider administered exam. So once you've completed the pre-licensing education, you'll have to pass a proctored exam given by your course provider. Anything above 70% will do. Step four, sign up for the state license exam. After you pass your product exam, you'll be able to schedule a time to take your New York real estate license exam. You can do this online. Now step five, pass the license exam. That's the part that stresses everybody out, but we got you covered. My team at Prep Agent does a great job of preparing people to pass the state exam. We have a tutor named Stu who also does webinars, who knows everything and anything about the New York real estate exam that you ever need to know. If you want to look him up, go to prepagent.com, and he is great. Obviously, I highly recommend him because I work with him, but I wouldn't work with him if I didn't think he was awesome. So look up Stu Jacobson on that one. So now you're prepared for your exam, and now when you show up on exam day, make sure you have a government-issued ID with a picture on it. You will also need to bring a printout of the summary of your submission page that was generated online when you scheduled your exam. Test takers are given 90 minutes to complete the multiple choice exam. Unfortunately, you won't know if you pass or fail when you finish. You'll have to look up online at a later date after it's been graded to see what the results are. Stressful, I know. Which brings us to step six, find a sponsoring broker. You can't activate a real estate license in the state of New York without a sponsoring broker. You're going to want to interview as many as you can. Everybody has different requirements for what they want out of a broker. Maybe it's commission, maybe it's training, maybe it's a personal mentor, maybe it's a nice office. You have to decide what's important to you. Start interviewing as many as you can to find that perfect fit to start your new real estate career with. And last but not least, number seven, apply for a real estate license and pay the fee. So yeah, you've done everything. You've done the courses, you passed your exam, you found a sponsor and broker, you're all ready to go. Now you can submit your application online. Along with the application, you'll need to complete a child support statement, even if you don't have any kids. You will also have to pay a $55 non-refundable fee for your application to be processed. But once you're all good with all that, 
you're ready to sell real estate, congratulations, go get them. So just to review the seven steps, once again, one, check your eligibility, two, complete the required pre-licensing real estate courses, three, pass the education provider administered exam, four, sign up for the state license exam, five, pass the state license exam, six, find a sponsoring broker, and number seven, apply for a real estate license and pay the fees. Well, this is Joe from Prep Agent. I hope that helped. And as always, keep it concise and keep it simple. Bye.